Okay, today we're going to make clam chowder, or New England, uh, not clam chowder, we're going to make seafood chowder today. There's different varieties you can make. You can take stuff out, you can make a clam chowder, seafood chowder, corn chowder, that's if you'd like. Uh, it's called lobster stew if you only want lobster, but then you have to take out the potatoes for lobster stew. Stew has no potatoes, chowder has potatoes. So let me go and we'll show you the recipe and everything, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we have about four to six medium-sized potatoes. I think this one, I have six potatoes. Doesn't look good, but we're going to boil this up, boil these up for about 10 or 15 minutes. They haven't started boiling, but I would say in about 15 minutes, this should be good enough in here. Okay, the ingredients are, we're going to use half and half. We're going to use about uh, a quart or a half this. This is a half gallon, so it's going to be about a quarter of it, so a quarter of a gallon. Salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to use fish flakes here, but uh, you can use anything you want. I got shrimp. We got smoked salmon. We got onions. I got some cilantro, and that's mostly just for looks. We use bacon, and we're going to use the carrots. The carrots are unnecessary. I just don't want to throw them out. And the bacon sometimes for flavor. I normally don't use it. So we got three strips of bacon, uh, about two cups of shrimp, two cups of salmon or one cup. This one is just, normally they use, use cod, haddock, or pollock. But since I only have salmon in the house, we're gonna use salmon. And these are the fish, artificial fish. You can use a seafood melody, you can use whatever you want. Now, what you could do is you could eliminate the fish if you want, and the seafood if you're allergic to seafood, and just use two to four cups of of corn and that would be corn chowder chowder and stew is potatoes if you cannot uh, digest potatoes you're like on keto and you can't have potatoes or Atkins you can take the you can take the potatoes out the onions out and then just put the meat in and cook everything else the way I have it in here so we're gonna wait till the potatoes boil then I'll go on to the next one Okay, so the potatoes are almost done in here. So I'm going to put the onions in because they take a while to cook. And those will take about five more minutes. So we'll give them about five, ten more minutes for the onions to cook. And then we will put the rest of the ingredients in. And then we'll go from there. Thank you. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're going to put the fish in now because everything's done. And then we're going to put in the shrimp and the salmon and then we got the bacon and the corn I mean the carrots now the carrots is not necessary I'm only going to put it in there because the uh, I made it for the sandwiches yesterday or two days ago and I don't need it so then you're going to mix it all up okay so now you see how it's just totally up there it doesn't look it looks bland this is where the whiteness comes in and we're going to put in like I said, about half of the, the quart here. So the half the half gallon. And then it still looks kind of nasty. Mix it up and voila. Now there you go. It turns white. Okay, so let me show you the next two steps here. First, we're gonna put some pepper in here. And this is to taste. And then we have salt, and that again is to taste. So you want to taste it, and then there's one more final step. Okay, and one final step. You're gonna take one dollop of uh, butter and put it in there and let that just melt. And then you're gonna let this simmer for about 10, 15 minutes just to make sure everything heats up and everything's cooked. The butter will be on the top with the pepper, and then you can taste it see if you want to add a little bit more or not and that will do it so this is the end result right here so I did put some sea salt in it a teaspoon of sea salt in the whole pot and some tajin in the whole salt a teaspoon of that and it has turned out perfect so this is the end result so like I said you don't have to put the seafood in it you can put corn in it only and that'd be corn chowder or you can put a seafood melody that you can buy at Walmart, which has octopus, uh, squid, 
clams, mussels, and stuff like that for another version. Or you can just put in clams. You can just get some diced clams from Walmart, five or six cans of that. And then that's what you get there. So, thank you. Bye-bye. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Share if you can. And if you need the recipe, please post down below and I'll give you the recipe. Thank you. Bye-bye.